we have this lovely big jar that I got this weekend. Um, I got it Saturday. It was $19.99 right there. And I'm hoping, I don't know what this is. There's something furry in there. So it's going to be interesting to get that off. So we're going to open this one up. See what's inside. Let me get the top off. I know you kind of like to watch, but I'm not that good yet. And I'm afraid I'm trying to be a little bit careful because I don't want to cut the furry thing. I'm kind of interested to see what the furry thing is. This jewelry, this thrift store has been doing a little more with jewelry jars. It's the stuff that doesn't sell in a case. It's local to me. There is a flea market I can go to that always has jewelry jars, but they, you know, sometimes you don't get good things. I don't know what this furry thing is. It looks kind of weird. I will show you the tape top once I get it off. They tape everything in here. So, there's the furry. Um... Yeah, I don't know. But we're going to pour, I'm going to pour all this into my box. Sorry if it gets a little loud. No, it's not going to let me. So we're just going to stick this up here and just start pulling things out. Let's just do it that way. But, oh, maybe we'll put it over this way. So you can see. And I got to put my, cleaned up a little bit. Wash my hands. Got some of the hair off of the paper towels. Let's see. Let's see what Mr. Furry is. They leave the tags on, which is kind of annoying at times because they get tangled in one another and they won't come out. I see some Chico's in there already. And I saw an Avon bracelet in there already. So maybe this one will be better than that last, that last box. It was horrible. There was no salvation in that last box. I was trying, but there was none. This is just a big, furry, fun keychain. Looks like it. Yeah, it goes in. So, whew. I don't know about that. We're going to set that monster over to the side. Okay, so let's see what else got stuck. And like I said, they leave the tags on so you can kind of see what they were charging. Like this necklace was supposed to be $4. Let's see what they wanted. I'm just going to bring my scissors over here and leave them over here. Because if you hear my dogs in the background, I am sorry. This is a Coldwater Creek. It says so. i got to get better at this. I think it's my lighting that's kind of bad. And it doesn't want to focus. Anyway, so this is a cold water creek, which is okay. It's all, it's like got some foiled acrylics, some wood beads. It's okay. It's not the best. And they want $4 for that one. Let's see what else we got. Something here was two ninety nine. I couldn't get $4 off of that. I don't know why they thought they could. Uh, this one was two ninety nine. My son is taking out the trash, so my dogs are going to be barking. And I cut the tags off. I didn't realize he was going to take out the trash just right now. But he usually waits till 3 or 4 in the morning to do that, and it's not 3 or 4 in the morning. This is, again, acrylic. Uh, let's see how much would they want for this gold tone one. Sometimes their pricing is a little crazy. Two ninety nine. I guess that's not too hateful for the It's got some I'm going to have to pause this video for a moment. Sorry. But here's the that piece. Okay, we're going to try this again. I paused you for a few minutes while you took the trash out. So maybe if I just take off some of these rings. I can't lose them because I love those rings. I will never take this ring off right here because that's my sister's ring. So we would never take that off. 
I only take it off to clean it. So this has got pearls with some stones. Let's go. Let's try this. There we go. Pearls with some stones. It is not marked, but it's cute, but $3. I don't know. Maybe. And then there's the back. It's just a simple, simple necklace, cheap costume, fast fashion kind of deal. Okay, so let's pull out some more stuff. We can kind of see it. Let's pull out some stuff. Hopefully this one will be better than that last one. I don't know. These would have been 29 cents. Now, to be fair, I don't know. I might have just bought them for 29 cents. They're cheap fast fashion kind of thing but you know 29 cents it's a pair of earrings it's not bad for a pair of earrings if you need if you want a pair need a pair of earrings oh look it's a giraffe dollar 99 i would have probably bought that because i have a collection of stick pins that i've got going i love stick pins and i think other people do it's just a no no big deal just a little stick pin He's cute. Let's we'll take him over there. And one thing I like about this is it's usually, once you get past the tape top, it's not that bad. Sometimes these get stuck in other things, but it's fairly easy to get the piece out. See, easy. So let's see. There is the thing here. Oh, it's dragging my magnet with it. So it's very magnetic. It's a multi-layer chain that was $3.99, no name. That's why it's in the jar, because nobody's going to pay that. This would be very easy to turn into, like, a cha-cha. I'm in the cha-chas recently. And this is a... Memory wire bracelet. It's kind of cute, but they wanted $2.99. Again, not two ninety nine. These and they don't have these jars very often. At least I don't see them often. I only go there once a week. Once a week, so every once in a while. I don't go every weekend. And so she goes on, is what it says. I had it. I had it. I really did. There it goes. And so she goes on. Nothing on the back. Just this little crystal here. Nice little leak chain. It's kind of lightweight, so again, it and they wanted two ninety nine for it. So and I, I have bought things there. I bought a big. I have to show them to you. They're right over there. I have to go get them. This is a really really long Chico's. Chico's and. Really, really long, gold tone, big, big statement beads. Chico's. Chico's isn't bad. Chico's does, if you get the right piece, it can bring you some value. And this is the other thing that was stuck to the lid. It's paper. It's paper. It was 29 cents, so they try to sell everything. It was strictly, it's signed, but it's, it's paper. Signed MZ. It is paper art. I don't, I don't know. I don't do paper art. I'm sure there's somebody somewhere that loves it. Let's pull out some more stuff. More earrings. Turtle, it looks like. I'm sorry, my bracelet keeps clacking, but I love my bracelet. We can't take that off either. My boyfriend bought me that for Christmas one year. He's a great guy. It's uh, 99 cents for that. It does have a mark right there. Let's see, Monet maybe or Avon? Avon. Avon had some nice things. It's just does. It's just so saturated. I'm going to put the brooches over there. Um, 69 cents for this little pair of Rolo style earrings, which look like somebody just 
took the chains and turned them into earrings, which is fine. It's not a bad thing. But if you need earrings, some of their earrings are really cheap. Like these are 29 cents. Not bad for a little gold tone earrings. And these are a brass chain. Again, 29 cents. Some kind of quartz watch that they wanted uh, $4.99 for. Let's see, watch. Looks like it's got some little Indiglo handles. Or uh, Brett Roberts. It's coming apart right there on the band. But bands can be replaced. If you really like the brand and you really like your watch, you can replace your brand, band and do something else with it. But it's Brett Roberts. I'll have to look that up and see what it says. It's got some little, I think there's a glow in the dark. We'll put it over here with that. 69 cents bracelet, state bracelet. Just a cheap little bracelet. And again, this jar was only $20, and so far it seems to be better than that box I got. I think the box was like $41, that last box. $41 plus shipping, which was about $20 bucks for shipping. Chico's. If it'll focus, Chico's. Chico's. And again, this is... Chico's has some nice things. This is, you know, shaky shake, cha-cha to me. It's... Really cute. Oh, did I have it turned around the wrong way? It's really cute. No, maybe I didn't. I don't know. I don't know if there's really... Is there really a wrong way to wear this? But they wanted three ninety nine for it. Which, in reality, that's not bad for Chico's. It's not bad. They're not... They don't overprice too much. It's a big thrift store. I'm sure people can probably guess where this is from. If they live around here, and I'm not going to say where it's from, but just some simple beaded earrings with a little bit of AB coating. This one is $2.99. And it is not marked. It's acrylic, colorful beads, purple, black, maybe some red, some silver. It's all acrylic and metal, and that's fine. It's just a fast fashion. Here's a tur I love turtles. Four ninety nine for this turtle. He's cute. Let's see if he says anything. I think he does right there. Jerry's maybe. Um, I think it says Jerry's. I can't tell. No. Yes, it's Jerry's. I had it upside down. It's Jerry's. They make some pretty stuff. Uh, let's pull out some more. These are just a pair of crystal looking study style earrings, four ninety nine. I think I need to be on this side of the camera because that seems to work. And I doubt that they're anything special. So oh, here's another brooch. This one's if I can get it to focus. 99 cents. Let's take this off. I kind of usually, I leave those on if I can so I know how much it was. But that's the back. Just a gold tone. There's the front. One little acrylic crystal in there. Oh, it just keeps going back and forth. And that one they wanted 99 cents for, so that's not hateful some more stuff and this is I saw this through there I wanted to see what this was so this was 
49 cents. And it looks like scissors, a file, and a knife. There's the knife. It says stainless on that side, nothing on that side. The nail file. And some scissors. And that's the problem with these. Is you always have to tell them how to get back in there. No name brand. I don't know what that is, but they want a 49 cents for this. And they have this in the drawer jar. Another pair of just plain crystal earrings for 69 cents. And another pair of chain earrings for 29 cents. Which of you sell a bunch of earrings? I mean, it's not bad. These have a lot of vertigree on the inside. And they're plated. You can see the plating bubbling up in there already. Right there. And they have a lot of vertigree. If they come clean, maybe. But if there's no name, there's really no... No, these are strictly for something else. Because look at that inside. They're just bad. They're bad. I'll throw them in the earring bowl and go through them later. Another pair of these crystal earrings. These came on a card like Claire's. We saw some of the Claire's earlier. Or somebody just made a bunch of earrings. They wanted 99 cents for these. And those are just a crystal pair. Got a lot of earrings in here. 69 cents for the, the balls. The silver balls, not sterling. 49 cents for the chains. Let's see, what is this? Some kind of ring for 69 cents. And that is just not anything that should have ever, should have just went to the trash. Let's see. Oh, there's an Avon pin. It says Avon. That's a big Avon pin. It's a newer Avon pin, I believe, because it's got the you see that circle with the dot in it? It's like a circle on a circle, like a Target logo. That's actually Avon. I always thought it was Target. It's not. It's Avon. Like, oh, Target. No, Avon. <laughs> There's another crystal earrings for 49 cents. Oh, another turtle brooch by Jerry's. There's two of them. This one, they want a $4.99. Okay, they want a $4.99 for the other one. I thought they did different pricing. And another pair of earrings that probably came on a card with a bunch of other ones. Same thing for these. Or these were add-ons to the... I mean, paparazzi was a little better than that. This is a dyed halite bracelet. The one in four ninety nine. It's definitely dyed halite. And the reason why I know is there is one that is broken. I already saw it. Well, that you can tell just by looking at it that it's dyed. You can see the dye in there. Where's the one that's broken? It'll be white inside. Let's find it. There it is. See? The white inside of there. There we go. It's white. That's dyed halite. If you, you're not sure, you take a cotton swab with a little bit of acetone. This color is definitely giving off halite anyway. But you take a little bit of um, acetone on a cotton swab and go on the inside somewhere and just run your cotton swab over it. If your cotton swab turns blue, you have dyed halite. But people like that stuff too, so it's not necessarily a bad thing because they do make some really pretty stuff with dyed halite not everybody can afford the, the real real things 99 cents for these no names on those just generic they're nicer they're better quality though they feel a little bit better little hearts for 99 cents this is why it's in the jar. They weren't getting that money for those. They should do earring lots because these are 29 cents. 
But I guess, again, like I said earlier, every penny counts. So maybe they have the same same understanding that every penny counts. This is an enameled bar brooch for 49 cents. And I doubt that has any names on it. It doesn't. It won't. It's got that type of bar. Still nice. It's pretty. It was in good, better can. It was in good condition. Okay. A pair of earrings for twenty nine cents. A pair of hoops for twenty nine cents. Open hoops. A pair of green shells or wood coconut shell maybe coconut shell. 99 cents. That could be coconut shell. And then this thing is $2.99. Faux pearl. I don't know who uses that. It's like a champagne color. It's pretty. It's just nothing. It's just really lightweight. So it's not even it's not even glass, but it's still pretty. Old ghost. Look at the ghost. It's a ghost for $1.99. That's how much I want it for. It is a lapel pen. Let's see what the back looks like. There's what the back looks like. But it's, an, it's a nice little lapel pen. Which, it's a ghost. It's kind of cute. Again, I love jewelry because I like seeing all the different things. It's a cat with a rose, a bow, and no name. She has no name. She was 99 cents. Let's see. Another pair of earrings for 99 cents. I don't know why how they price their stuff. Oh, where they go with that summer's 29 cents, summer 60. Maybe it's just the mood they woke up in that next. These are 69 cents. Let's move this down a little bit so I don't have to keep aiming up for the camera. $3.99 for this. Has no name. I do like the shiny beads on it. Those are nice. It's blue. Must be a blue day. Sound like they might be glass. They feel colder. And then that one's some some kind of is that sodalite? I think that's sodalite. It looks like it. Okay, that was not bad. $3.99 again for that one. Let's see what else we're gonna drag out. It's got a lot in it for $20. I would definitely make my $20 back. I mean I can sell the turtles. Maybe I'll go with their pricing. Oh, those are nice. These are, I love rhinestones. 69 cents for the rhinestones. They're newer. They're more modern. Let's see the back. There's the backs. They're modern. There's nothing, but they're, they're nice. Almost seems like one, both of these are left or right. Because they're both aiming the same way. I always thought one should aim the other way. When you put them on, but twenty nine cents for these, and they are look like little mini swords hanging off of your ears. They're kind of tangling right now. They're dueling swords. They're tangled up right now. Twenty nine cents. <laughs> and the letter J for dollar nine nine. Is this a Jerry's as well, or an Avon? I don't know. Or neither. Might not be either. Might just be unbranded. And that's what we're looking at. Dollar ninety nine for that one. These are twenty nine cents. Let's see. Yep. Just little silver balls, silver tone balls. Twenty nine cents. Um again. Ninety nine cents. And the yellow ones were sixty nine cents, so I don't understand. This one is a dollar ninety nine. That's what they were trying to get out of it. It's Acrylic, blue and black, nothing special. It kind of reminds me of 
the colors of a Kate Spade necklace I have, but it's really, maybe I'll add it to that because it doesn't, it won't do well on its own. Maybe I'll just add it to that for the color of the, because it's Kate Spade and it's the color. It, I don't understand the whole thing on Kate Spade. I do like this though. It's the individual pieces of what looks like shells. It's made in the Philippines. That's really pretty. I do like that. I like that. That one I like. A lot. Let's see here. This says Born to Rule. And it has a heart and something right there. A crown. It's a lapel pin it looks like. I don't see any name on it. And it was 99 cents. Not bad. Little teeny tiny earrings that should have just been grouped with others for 69 cents. Curb chain earrings for 29 cents. <clears throat> it lost its stuff. Another ear pair of earrings just... 69 cents that's cute it's got a cat the moon it's sparkly it's resin it's kind of cute okay i like that and it was $1.99 it's cute these were 29 cents they've got a lot of wear to them it, I say they have a lot of wear, but sometimes this actually will clean up. I, amazingly enough, had cleaned them. And I, the thing that I thought was wear ended up being just dirt. Caked on dirt from years of use. You've seen the lines in it. So they, before you think that they're just worn out, wash them. See what they come out like. They may, they might shock you. This is Avon. This one is the piece. It's multiple languages, got different languages. I have one that says, I have one like this that says peace. I have another one that says mother. They wanted two ninety nine, so I have three of these now. And they're not; they don't sell too bad. These are between twelve and fifteen dollars each. They have different languages, so they don't do too bad. Now this one is a pretty worn out. It's got, this is where, see the, the black on it? I don't know if we can see the black. It's got black all the way down here, and they wanted 29 cents. So I guess if you could do something else with it for 29 cents, it wouldn't be bad. It's just like a folded ribbon. And it has, it could be a pin, or it could be a scarf clip. But it's got, oh my goodness, does it have a lot of stuff wrong with it. This would end up in a craft lot, even with that little bit, because it still, still has some redeemable qualities, I think. But it was only 29 cents, so it's not bad. I couldn't get it back in there. We're just going to not worry about it. Snowman. Earrings for 49 cents. $0.69. Cents. Some Love Knots for 29 cents. There's got some wear on them. They're textured and then not textured over there. Some of these could be Monet or Trafari or whatnot. These look like Labradorites. They're cold. They're cold. They look like faceted Labradorites. We can get it to show the blue. These are nice for 29 cents. They're costume jewelry, but they're nice. Because the lab if this is Labradorite. There we go. You can see a little bit of the blue. Let's see if we can see anything on this side. These are Labradorites. Yeah, those are nice. I like the stones. I like Labradorite. I'm going to try to finish this one up. 69 cents for those. This is just a worn out necklace. It has a lot of wear. And they wanted $4.99 for that. That's a no. 
some fancy earrings go with those cha-cha bracelets and necklaces I want to make. 49 cents. I saw this and I wasn't sure what it was. I thought this was a bracelet. It's not. I think that's supposed to look like it's not horn. It's plastic. It's supposed to look like horn. It's not. $4.99. Still pretty. I think these are glass. These are... These feel like wood. Those are wood. I think these bits might be coconut shell. Or they could be they could be horn. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'll have to look at it better later. It just looks like resin or plastic to me. To look like horn. It's anyone four ninety nine if you're into that. Kind of thing, the boho style, then yeah, that would be great. Um, I will probably end up trying to edit this video later, and I might get some to make it a little bit shorter. Like, I'm trying to stay around 15 to 20 minutes for the um, the videos. So we pulled out a few things. Oh, some 49 cent. Santa's to go with your 29 cent. Um, what does that say? Snowman. I had to think about it for a minute. Yep, that's what I thought. This is an Avon. I do not sell these. I don't like to. My sister passed away a few years from breast cancer, and I think any cancer awareness and resell, I don't like to do it unless... If you're going to donate all the money to cancer research or the hospital for cancer, I think these should just be given to people. Period. If somebody wants it, just let me know. You'd have to pay for shipping. I will ship it to you. It's a very pretty piece. I just don't like selling these because when they were initially sold, I believe the, donate, the profits went to cancer research. So that's why I don't like selling them. I just don't, I know other people do, and I won't admonish other people for that. That's your decision. I just choose not to. Let's see. It's just my personal preference. These are lever backs. I feel like they might be glass, but they wanted 69 cents for those. Kind of a purplish color, I believe. Yeah. Purplish color. Maybe I just have too much going on on my table for it to focus right. These are colors. 49 cents. I can make those. Those are fairly easy. And there are two pieces here. Let's see if I can get it apart. Okay. This one was $1.99. It's just a beaded. Probably. It looks like a Claire's tag. Yep. Claire's. No. Absolutely not. This is an, a religious piece. Again, I get, since it's not technically a rosary, it's just, looks like a choker. I don't, I'm not worried about that piece, but I probably wouldn't sell it anyway. I'd probably go on a craft lot because it's kind of lightweight and doesn't feel that great. $2.99. There's a bracelet. Multi-colored, multi-metal. Colored metal, copper, brass, copper again. Again, they're following it through with the chains. Two ninety nine, not a bad deal if you want some a piece of jewelry like this and it's stretchy. I don't trust these stretches. I'm always afraid it's gonna come flying off and I'm gonna lose everything. This is a. This one was $2.99. Almost has a premier design feel, or it's not a Brighton premier design feel. It is a heavier piece. But premier design was known to mark everything just like Avon. I don't see a marking. So chances are this is just a fast fashion piece. It is heavier. Some more of these for 29 cents. They didn't know whether they wanted 29 or 69 cents for those. This these are bad 
bad shape. 99 cents for those. They have a lot of wear on them, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they do. I'm looking, the way I look at them, they're not that great. This one has a lot of hair on it. It is $2.99. Gray necklace. Nothing special. I've heard that some of these things can be expensive. If somebody knows something about them, let me know. They're these rubber sequins. I actually just let a bunch of these go in that craft lot. The bracelets, that is. I am not a fan. Not a fan at all. Nope. <coughs> Let's see what else we got coming out. Let's just do this. If it'll work. Oh, it works. There's our empty jar. 69 cents. Avon, I believe. I should have put that in a bowl, but I'm just trying to nine nine cents. So now we got nine cents and twenty nine cents and the angel is forty nine cents. So you can tell I'm kind of over it. Forty nine cents. I bought a second jar and it was a little more expensive. I'm hoping it has better stuff. This isn't hateful. It's really not. It's better than that other box. You can't win them all though. Sixty nine cents. Right now we're just gonna get through it. I have gotten these jars from them and I've gotten Kendra Scott and Monet and all kinds of good things this week. It just Silvertone Love Nuts for forty nine cents. That's just what we're getting. And it's fine. You win some, you lose some. Two ninety nine. Forty nine cents. But when I run out of boxes to open, I will start showing you the boxes I am making. Those are heavier. Look at those. Almost like a J. Crew quality. But they're not. I've got some J. Crews. I didn't realize they're J. Crews. I was shocked when I found out they were J. Cruz. 99 cents. But the stones, this reminds me of J. Crew stones. But if it was J. Crew, it would have said so right there. It would have had a cartouche that said J. Crew. They're not, they're heavier, but they're not J. Crew. Let's see. That's pretty. Truth, faith, love, and hope. 99 cents. This is premier design. Pretty. It's an angel, a little red, enameled, uh, AB rhinestone. This looks like Anne Klein colors. Anne Klein does this flat gold like this. But I think I, there's another company I've had one of these from, and they do the same thing. But this is. Something that Ian Klein is known for is this flat, yellowy, mustard yellow colored gold is what I call it. This one's pretty though. Blue and gold. And it was $4.99. Saving Becky for last. I found another diamond. <laughs> and it's got a little bit of wear right there. It's they wanted four ninety nine for that diamond. She needs clean. She definitely needs clean. I would say this is probably late eighties, early nineties style things we wear. This one was two ninety nine, and it has definitely had some love in its life. Somebody wore this till they loved it and it betrayed them by turning their skins different color or their skin different colors and they just couldn't love it anymore. Because, yeah, look at all that. They really loved that one. The only about the only good thing this is good for is a craft lot. Then we have this thing. It's 
pretty. Oh, that's shiny. Not marked. It is $3.99. Oh, it does have, it's Premier Design. I love some of Premier Designs. This is really shiny and it's a gunmetal color. Really dark colors are in right now, apparently. Uh, it's like the, they say morning jewelry. Before I even turn this over. This style is 1928. It's 49 cents. Let's flip it over and find out. I don't know if this one is for sure. No, it does, well, it's kind of got a little bit of the patterning, but it's not that prominent. I'll look at it more later. But this, they do a lot of this Art Deco-y, looky, Ed Victorian kind of looking thing where it's all these different, I don't know how, what you put it, but Becky. That's Becky's. I like these. These are the frames that they use for cabbage, for, um, yeah. It's really, I can't think of it. I do like these. It's pretty. If only my name was Becky. My name is not Becky. My name is Deb. Far from Becky. We're gonna, these are 29 cents. I want to see. Let's see. They don't, but I don't think they are. Nope. They're not going to be. I have to look a little closer to even see what it is. I have no idea what that was even supposed to be. I have no idea, but it was 29 cents. So what I do with these is I will add these even wearable lots because people wear multiple earrings. And if they're good enough, they can go into wearable lots. You put enough of them in there, but you put other things in there. They're not really fillers, but okay, so here is this enamel pair. Almost looks like Monet. I think it's Avon. Yep. Okay, they do have some vertigree, but maybe I can get it to show you that mark. See that circle within a circle? That's Avon. That one right there. That's Avon. Avon has a bunch of marks. A ton of marks. Ah, a lot of marks. I guess they went with that mark instead. And then this is a charm for six... $6.99. It does say something on the side. It says 925. Something Milia. It's not Pandora. G. Hamilia. Gamilia. G H A M I L I A. Gamilia. Even though I do, I could put this on my Pandora bracelet. My boyfriend wants me to only put Pandora, real Pandora charms on my Pandora bracelet. For and He said that putting these on her, even if it's silver, he really doesn't think it's a good idea. And I, don't, I, I agree with him. I did try to put one on there and it said it was 925. It was sterling. It was not, it was copper. The copper started coming through and started leaving um, like verdigris marks on my sterling. So I immediately took it off. And he was right. I give him credit. He was right. I should have never tried it. So there's that box. Again, this will probably, I'm going to try to find a right place to split it in two. But for now, me and the furry thing are just going to say goodbye. And have a wonderful evening. Furry, furry. I thought it was a troll doll. It's not. It's just fur. Fun. Alright, have a wonderful night. Yeah, bye. I'm out.